The history of human development has shown that technology has always been the main driver for significant change in society. The future is something unpredictable, even though we don't know for sure what will happen. Let's fantasize about future technology in our world as an idea of what could happen. Not 100 years into the future, or 1,000 years into the future, or even 10,000 years into the future. But we are immediately stepping into a time where humans and technology can combine without limits. Future technology that will change the way we see, think, and act in everyday life. There are many new technologies that will make human life easier, more useful, and safer, or perhaps even more dominant. Let's call this age the Aperon era. In this day and age, we have entered a new era filled with previously unimaginable technological advances. Artificial intelligence, or AI, has become commonplace. Big data and the Internet of Things have become part of interacting and living everyday life. The future of robotics is driven by advances in AI and machine learning. This advancement would be collaborative and inclusive, increasing human-robot cooperation. This robots will become more ubiquitous, permeating various industries and facets of our lives. From precision farming to driving with autonomous vehicles, robotics will revolutionize how we operate. Advancements in computer vision and conversational AI are enhanced human-to-robot interactions. Simultaneously, data collection capabilities could yield more efficient fleet of robots deployments in industrial settings. The use of AI models will enable robots to perform specific tasks more efficiently, learn from their experiences, and interact more intuitively with the real world. This will be especially transformative in sectors like healthcare, manufacturing, and logistics, among others. The need for fossil natural resources is no longer a problem because humans has create new type of energy forces called core, an unlimited resource that can be engineered to become a source of energy for various needs, such as power generation, vehicle propulsion, and other life-sustaining technologies. In this era, the human population has reached more than 7 trillion people and requires us to make the best possible use of existing land for settlement. The main idea is to create human settlements that are sustainable and integrated with nature. Future settlements are expected to provide modern infrastructure, advanced technology, and a sustainable approach to the use of natural resources. Cities under sea water, around the orbit of the Earth, or even on other planets such as Mars, are common solution to population density. The orbital structure would rotate to produce gravity, collect sunlight via a series of mirrors, and can produce heat with the engine and contain a series of farm sections producing food for the population. The spherical design of structure meant that the need for a special zero-gravity compartment was not needed. The center of the station would be a zero-G zone and could be utilized for specialty fabrication or recreation. The habitat was designed in its ring at special section of the sphere to be used for farming, healthcare facility, educational center, and more and a long docking tube running through the entire structure capped with microwave communication arrays. Before we continue with our topic, please subscribe to this channel and press the notification button to get more content. Underwater metropolis would be sustainable and nearly self-sufficient with ocean thermal energy conversion producing power via a core engine. 
This engine exploits temperature differences between water on the ocean's surface, which is heated by the sun, and frigid deep sea water. Fresh water would be provided using reverse osmosis membrane desalination. This is a filter membrane that removes all contaminants from water during the desalination process. High pressure in the deep sea is no longer an issue. Mankind in this period have developed sturdy buildings to endure such high conditions. Humans use several techniques to remove water from impurities in order to generate pressure. Another step to overcome population problems, Mars has become the second home for human. To maintain a comfortable temperature and habitable air pressure, the Martian city would have a bio engine. This engine can create oxygen, made by applying electricity to underground ice. Huge machines are planted beneath the Martian soil layer. This machine is equipped with artificial intelligence intended to regenerate Mars's gravity so that it is the same as Earth's. The Martian city are also protected by invisible shields created from bioengine. This aims to maintain the stable conditions of Mars so that it is suitable for habitation, like the atmosphere on Earth. The city architecture is about forging a new relationship with nature, with each other, and with the very definition of what it means to be human in a world of intelligent machines. It's about building a future where sustainability isn't a buzzword, but the very heartbeat of the city. Hyperloops, once science fiction fantasy, become reality in this era, transporting passengers and cargo efficiently with minimal environmental impact. But for a more leisurely jaunt, picture sleek, personal hover cars gliding silently above the cityscape. The brains of futuristic city life are sophisticated AI systems that orchestrate the flow of vehicles. Imagine algorithms predicting and optimizing traffic patterns in real time, adjusting hover car routes and hyperloop schedules to ensure seamless movement. This not only reduces congestion, but also minimizes emissions, creating a quieter, cleaner city experience. Traveling to the wilds of space is no longer expensive and can be done by everyone at any time and in a very short time. As if the distance of millions of light years does not seem long. Almost everyone can travel through space, whether by private vehicle or public transportation.
The warp drive is the engine powering pretty much every vessel in ERA, from the various versions of the exploration spaceship to cargo spaceship and transport spaceship. The warp drives work by generating plasma in a process that involves consuming both core and antimatter. This produces a vast amount of energy that allows the ship to create a warp bubble and distort space. In essence, warp drives alter space around the ship to move it. The plasma created in the engines produces the warp bubble, which squeezes space in the direction the ship is moving and causes it to expand behind it. The space warping pushes the ship forward, and the most powerful warp drives can exceed the speed of light by a factor of several thousand, meaning it can take just a few days to travel across the galaxy. Keeping those powerful engines working at their full capacity is hard work, and ships normally have dedicated robots responsible for their upkeep. This also means that only medium and large spaceships have these engines, but smaller do not. The concept of the future cities is thrilling and ever-changing, shaped by technological advancements and science fiction's limitless imagination. While it is hard to foresee exactly how our urban landscapes will look in the future decades, imagining the possibilities challenges us to think creatively and critically about the society we want to build. Embracing ideas and advancements with the potential to improve our cities is a critical step toward creating a sustainable, efficient and dynamic future for everybody. Nobody truly knows what our urban future will look like, but the one thing we can be sure of is that it will be crowded.